You see that? That's the bar record of George P. Bush. You see that? I see what the document is. I think everybody can. Now look at the bottom. Look at the bottom entry. His law license was inactive for 10 years. See that? Look at when he requested to reactivate his license. Tell us all that date. Where do you want to point it to me? 10-1-2020. Do you see that? I see the document says that, sir. What date is it when he applied to activate his license? It says October 1st, 2020. Huh. Let me get this right in my mind. On October 1st, 2020, you sent the general a text that we saw, right? I did, yes, sir. On that same day, you signed a letter seven of you, right? Yes, sir. And coincidentally, on that same day, George P. Bush, who ran against General Paxton, did he not? He did in the primary. George P. Bush applies to reactivate his law license. You see that? That's what that document appears to say. You ever hear that old saying, there are no coincidences in Austin? Actually, I don't. I'm, Never not, heard that? I'm not an Austin guy, so no, I haven't heard that one. There are no coincidences in Austin. You never heard that? No, I haven't. Okay. Now, let's, I'm trying to figure out the connection here. Before October 1st, you had already talked to Johnny Sutton, hadn't you? I had not. Somebody had, right? I believe so. Somebody within these seven people had, right? I believe so. And what's Johnny Sutton's relationship with George P. Bush? I have no idea. Don't if there's know. Any. I have no idea if there's any. No clue. No. So the day after George P. Bush applies to reactivate his license, you resign. Is that right? I resigned on October 2nd, sir. Let's look at that. that